Sometimes you want to share some content inside your Unity app. People don't want to open and search through your boring app every time someone shares them some very specific content you host. That's not how you make something viral. For a website, this is simple to make. You just share a new URL or even better use a QR code. And that's easy. You can share a web app in whatever state you wish. Apps have a solution for this already though. Unity calls them deep links and Apple calls them universal links. So chill, apps are still great. In theory at least, deep links are crazy simple. The documentation is clear about it. You have the URL stored inside application.absoluteurl. You also have an event raised once someone enters your app through a link. Every time your app is open, you can check this. That was easy, but if all this was enough, I wouldn't make this video. But I made it out of frustration. The frustration of having to do platform specific stuff on both Android and iOS. And also having to build an actual website for this as well as a backup in case the user doesn't have the app already installed. Let's start with Android because Android should be easier, right? What we want is whenever we access an URL, just get our app to open. What I love about this is we can actually have our own schema. No HTTPS there for confusion. We can have whatever word we like. As a rule of thumb, every Android functionality means messing with Android manifest XML. I have a fun video about it, uh, by the way. Anyway, we basically declare an intent in which we tell our mobile what URL schema should open our app. And this should also happen when the URL is accessed inside the browsers, since it's browsable. An intent is an abstract description of an operation that can be performed by our app inside or outside of it. Actions can include the camera, the photo gallery, sending an email, storing a file or sharing a link. They're all done through intents. On short, make sure you add the Android manifest XML inside the plugins Android folder or a subfolder of it. Keep in mind, if you already have other intents, you'll just have to add this one to an existing manifest. Now, iOS doesn't have manifest, so I first tried to use supported URL schemas since they were so easy to set up. It should be kind of easy, they should be found inside the other settings of iOS, but there were two big problems. One, there is no backup link, so if no app installed, your link will just break. And two, there is no automatic opening, but you have a subtle small pop-up which I didn't see the first time, so some other users won't see it as well. Luckily, they have universal links, which are a tidbit more complicated. There are basically two steps. First, create a file on your website hosting. Yes, you'll need a website, and sorry for that. Named exactly Apple App Site Association. No typos. It looks like this, and make sure you put the team ID correctly from your app store and the paths accordingly to the sub URL. We need to create this because your app will query this file. Apple doesn't want us to associate with just anyone's website as it can be unsafe. Secondly, whenever we make the app build inside the Xcode, we need to make sure we attach the entitlement for associated domains. That's Xcode's way of making the manifest stuff for us. Looks something like this. Associated domains, app links, art link app. This is worse than a manifest in a way because we'll have to remember to add them every single time we make a build. But I got your back, don't worry. We can make a post build script that adds the entitlements automatically. It's surprisingly readable thanks to Unity. Okay, so now we have the manifest ready for Android and the setup for iOS universal links. We even set up our web hosting to allow iOS to do its stuff. How do we make a backup in case someone doesn't have the app already installed? First is a bit simpler, providing you used HTTPS schema on deep links. It's just to make a backup page where it says something like Oops, no app installed and put two buttons towards your app store and on that exact link. The second one and the more fancy way is to allow an intermediary page to redirect towards the app. But if no redirection is made for like two seconds, then automatically open the app stores. 
except the fact that Chrome doesn't allow redirections without a previous page interaction. So you'll need to put something like a big open app button that does this exact same thing. Honestly, I prefer no button here, but uh, that's how you can actually have a working happy flow somehow. I'm not sure this is the best flow, it's just the best thing I found for my use case, so if you have any better suggestions, please help with a comment, any link, everything is helpful, and uh, yeah, see you next time, thank you.